Hey VIPs, it has been a few weeks because we had some travels in there, but I am coming to you live for What's New Wednesday. And I'm gonna hop right into it because I have a lot of titles to show you. I've been kind of holding out on you, starting with some seasonal goodies. So we have Twas the Night Before Christmas. Let's see. There we go. Now we should be looking at it straight. So Twas the Night Before Christmas, this is one of our little board books. I have lots of other books in this series I was gonna show you today as well. We, we have fun collecting these and I'm hanging on to them for my five-year-old because he is um, an emerging reader. Find the duck at Christmas. So there is a little duck to spot on every page. If you're familiar with the Stephen Cartwright illustrated books with the little duck, like Poppy and Sam books, um, this one includes the little fun interactive feature to spot that little duck on every page. Peek inside the nativity. If you're familiar with our peek inside books, they are gorgeous. They have laser cutouts. They have some flaps throughout and some peek through um, little windows. Super fun. Hi there. Thanks for watching. I also have Don't Tickle the Reindeer. There's a whole series of these. You press on these, these patches so they're touchy-feely and they make sound. I'm gonna flip that switch off on the back. Also another seasonal goodie, um, little sparkly Christmas trees, glossy pages throughout, and then these sticker pages have perforated pages, um, perforations so you can tear them out and you can lay them alongside the corresponding scene to decorate. Pretty awesome, great for stocking stuffers. And then there's another new one um, seasonally, my first Halloween activity pad, perforated pages too. You could share across siblings, fun for Halloween gift giving or leading up to Halloween for kids to get into the holiday spirit. And then another one kind of goes along with that is Little Coloring Fall. I'd mentioned this one in a previous video. I love the dark black outlines in these little coloring books. They really, really help kids learn how to um, color within the lines. Along those same lines, I also have Little Coloring Farm. Same idea. You guys have probably seen me show off some of our Build Your Own sticker books. T-Rex just came out and other dinosaurs. So the kiddos will take the corresponding sticker pages and fill in um, these spots to cover up the skeletons. Pretty awesome. And then if you go back, um, they'll teach you a little bit about like the stats for that each di each dinosaur that the kids um, cover and then some more information up here. So it's educational and super fun. All right, next I'm gonna move on to some, I'll show you guys those little board books. There are so many of the series. I'm kind of collecting them for my son. As I mentioned, he's an emerging reader at age five. There are so many, row, row, row your boat the fox and the crow. So some of them go along with like Aesop's fables, the emperor and the nightingale, emperor's new clothes. Then we have one on colors, the ant and the grasshopper. 10 little bottles sitting on the wall, the elves and the shoemaker, Cinderella, the fox and the stork, the princess and the pea, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The hare and the tortoise and the friendly dragon. I showed you guys the Twas the Night Before Christmas one. I'll show you one more little flip through one of these examples. So it's a little board book with a sweet little story, beautiful illustrations. Um, and even though it's a board book, I mean, there's a lot of information, a lot of text there. Um, to go through the story. Great for little hands though. So that's why I was hanging on to these for my son who's an emerging reader. Even though he's kind of like out of board books, these still have great content for stories for emerging readers. All right, next I'm going to show you guys a brand new series, my colorful quiz. So we have four in this series so far, my colorful quiz, Ocean. Here I'll show you an example. There's a lot to discover in the ocean. What do you know? What else can you learn? Who has scales? And so they come over here and they um, have to use some critical thinking and visual discrimination to find the, the creature that has scales. So it teaches little guys um, some really unique facts about creatures in the ocean. In this case, we also have my colorful quiz farm. I'll show you a couple pages in this one. 
What will the farmer use to plow his field? Who does this dog, uh, sorry, bone belong to? The dog. Who likes to wallow in the mud? All right, next up we have my colorful quiz, Forest. Who hatched from an egg? So lots of great conversation starters here, right? And super simplistic illustrations, but very educational. And then the final one I have to show you guys in this series, my colorful quiz, Meadow. Who used to be a caterpillar? Who made this hill? Who grew from a tadpole? I could see my five-year-old even enjoying these little board books, so I might hang on to those for him. My son has grown out of these, um, but these are super fun and interactive for little guys. Baby's very first slide and see pets. There's a whole series of these. This is just the newest one. There's not gonna be a whole storyline, but there's some little words to go over, fun little sounds. There's texture, and then of course, the little sliders on every page. So we have kitties, bunnies, they're nibbling. You could talk about all the different things that they see on those pages fish, and then a dog. Super, super cute, fun, and interactive. These are really sturdy, too. Some people don't know if their kiddos can handle certain books. These, I can promise you, are really sturdy. Um, next, I'll show you Lift the Flap, um, Play Hide and Seek with B. There's others in the series. I know we have reindeer. We also have like octopus and several others. So there's flaps to lift, little peek through windows, um, things to spot. Now it's my time to turn to search for caterpillar and butterfly and bee. I can't see them here and so it says come find with us. We're over here spider. So you can talk about all the different things on the page and your kiddo will have a lot of fun lifting those flaps to spot the animals. This one has two flaps. Look at all those colors. So that's the Play Hide and Seek series. The newest one is B. All right, we have Twinkly Twinkly Nighttime. So this has little light up features. I switched it on on the back. There's a little light here. Sweet little storyline. More lights on this page. So pretty, right? I love the light up feature. I haven't read this one to my kiddos yet. That's the end of it. There's some other Twinkly Twinkly books like Twinkly Twinkly Nativity and Christmas Tree. I think there's a bedtime one too. Check it. Check those out. All right, this is a new sound book. Switching it on on the back. So there are sensor pads to press along the way. Lots to talk about on those colorful illustrations, colorful pages. We really love how these sensors work. They actually interrupt each other, so you don't have to wait for the sound to complete before you go on to the next one. There's some little finger trails throughout, and these sensor pads are really great and easy for little guys to activate. I know some sound books have buttons that are a little hard to press, so lots to talk about. Once again, all of our books are so colorful and so much to talk about. And then this one's pretty new. The Animal Orchestra plays Bach. More sensor pads. Little peek through windows. A little storyline to go along with it. So in this one, each spread has a different sound by Bach. Super beautiful. All right, next I will show off just a couple of nonfiction books that I grabbed that are on, that are brand new. Um, this is a pretty new series, Usborn Life Cycles. Hey there, Rachel. So this one has um, some little peek through windows. And this one's talking about the life cycle of the tree. We also have a frog one. I don't think I've showed you guys the frog one just yet. So very educational and beautifully done, right? So awesome. Then we have Pop Up Butterflies. This one has um, QR audio. You can scan that QR code and read the book aloud. We love that feature. And look how beautiful the pop-ups are in this one. So this one's Butterflies, talking about the life cycle of butterfly and cocoon. Pretty awesome. I 
love the QR audio for when I'm pretty busy, but my son wants me to read something to him. Oh, there's that pop-up on that side. There's a pop-up on this side. We love the pop-up books, so gorgeous. All right, we've been clamoring to get our hands on how Peek Inside, how a rocket works. Peek Inside series is kind of like a nice little gateway into Lift the Flap books. They're educational, fun, just a few flaps to lift on every spread. A little gentle non-intro to nonfiction, really. So fun. Peek Inside a Rocket Ship, or How a Rocket Works. Cool, cool, and then this one just came out. Where do animals go in winter? It's a first questions and answers book. Lift the flap, first questions and answers. Where do animals go in winter? So there's an overarching question on the top and then lots of questions um, to go through in the page. Um, hi, Nikki. And one tip I have before you give a child a lift the flap book like this one, go through and lift all those flaps for them ahead of time. Migration, hibernation, so, so educational. Great for teachers too. What else helps animals in the winter time? So talking through other adaptations. Do deer eat grass all year round? No, it's often covered by snow in the winter, but I can eat moss, twigs, bark, and leaves instead. So pretty cool facts. I learn so much when I read these books to my kids too. How can we help? Talking about climate change, Feed the birds and leave out water for us too. If it ices over, please break the ice. Thank you. So that one is what do animals, or where do animals go in winter? All right, step inside science. Looks like a new series is coming out. This one's germs. I haven't actually even looked at this one yet. It just came out of the box. I love the format. So there's just, it looks like a few flaps to lift. Some little peek through windows there and lots of different facts throughout. Lots of germs and poop. So cool. That's a fun peek through. My son's gonna get a kick out of this one for sure. All right, can we really help the trees? There's also a polar bears one. I think there's a bees one. Kind of written like a picture book form. Lots of information. As you can see here, lots to talk about on these pages of illustrations. Very educational and gets our kids in action, helping our planet. Gives them lots and lots of ideas. And then finally, I grabbed strongest, cleverest, deadliest, fiercest, hottest, loudest, smelliest, and weirdest. This is another lift the flat book um, for little older kiddos. So talking about the strongest, it says the strongest robot arm in the world belongs to a machine known as the F-A-N-U-C-M 2000 IA, 2300, take a peek under this flap to see who can lift more. Pretty cool. Lots of information. You're gonna learn stuff alongside your kiddos. <laughs> Reading a book like this one. So cleverest, deadliest, fiercest. Orcas or killer whales end 55% of their hunts in a successful kill. Hottest, coldest. You have kids that love facts, this would be a fantastic one to have on hand. You can learn all that trivia to share with their friends. Smelliest, weirdest. What's the wildest weather you can imagine? Ball lightning really does exist. It's a rare and mysterious type of spherical lightning. Reports of ball lightning date back hundreds of years, but the cause remains unexplained. Raining frogs and fish, balls of white hot lightning. What the heck? So. There, there we have it. That's the end of our What's New Wednesday. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about any of these. Um, yeah, so I will post a link where you can, or you can see in the description of this video, a link where you can check out all the different books that were featured here as many, as well as many other books. And if you ever have any requests of new books that you wanna see or books that you want pre featured in a video like this, go ahead and drop those in the comments too. All right, thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.